Welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today topic is how to install and configure FTP on Fedora 34. Small introduction of FTP. FTP stands for file transfer protocol that is utilized to transfer files. We can also upload or download files from the protocol. For secure transmission that secure the username and password and encrypts the content. FTP is designed using a client server model that use different data and control connections. Now I am going to check OS version. Use this command cat space slash adc slash os hyphen release. Press enter. This is OS version Fedora 34. Now I am going to install VS FTPD share. Use this command DNF install VS FTPD space hyphen Y press enter. Installation completer and I am going to open VSFTPD configuration file. Use this command vim space edc slash VSFTPD slash VSFTPD dot con of presenter. Here we going to change anonymous enable equal to no. It's already no here. No means anonymous user will not access. And then You need to enable hash key, remove hash. Hash key is used for notepad edition. It's uh, using for download and upload. And you can put your banner for FTP. It will show at the time of login. Linux L and save and exit. Now I'm going to add user. Use this command add user space new user username presenter user added successfully and i'm going to give password this user password space new user presenter and here password and re-enter password successfully password updated and I am going to restart VSFTPD use this command systemctl start VSFTPD press enter and then I am going to enable VSFTPD System CTO
and above VSFTPD press enter VSFTPD is enabled and then I am going to check status VSFTPD system CTO status VSFTPD VSFTPD status is active and I'm going to change directory use this command cd slash home to change home directory use ls command to see what inside you see here username and change directory to user and I'm going to make directory here new directory mkdir space folder this is directory presenter now directory created I'm going to change directly this folder cd space folder presenter and I'm going to create file here using touch command touch file one presenter and again touch space file to now check using ls command see here two files created and now i'm going to check ip ip a space s this is my ip address Now I'm going to open FTP. Use my IP address. Enter here. Username. New user. Enter password here. FTP successfully login from the root. I mix it and then I'm going to change to choose a SU hyphen new user. Now I'm going to open FTP here. Here's my IP address. and the username and password see here ftp is open accessible from new user and root user now i'm going to exit now i'm going to check File location is this command kate space slash edc slash password space pipeline space crap space new user presenter see here this is location for slash home slash new user I'm going to change this location using cd command cd slash home slash new user
presenter I'm going to use ls command see what inside the file location see here on directory is there a directory name is folder now I'm going to change that directory using cd command space folder and use ls command see here two files is there I'm going to edit this file vi space file one presenter now I'm going to edit this file hi this is test file for FTP now save and exit and then I'm going to the browser and search here FTP all and double slash is my IP address here presenter see here FTP is opened now it's asking for credential to login enter username and password FTP is opened see here our folder file I'm going to open this file our directory see here two files is here I am going to open file 1 it's asking for to save this file you go this and open here see this is our file 1 inside the content hi this is the test file for FTP our FTP is successfully working and then file 2 is open save the file and open it file 2 nothing inside here so I'm going to close you see here up to higher level directory if we click here it will open a local uh, directory files higher level directory if you give permission to FTP users they can access these all directory in high level directories this system you need to block this access to FTP users I'm going to configuration file PSFTPD then slash EDC slash VSFTPD slash VSFTPD dot conf presenter go to the ch root section See here, I'm going to insert more and enable it. See it root localizer 7 exit. I'm going to restart this VSFTP service. Substantially, I'll restart VSFTPD. Now go to the browser, click here, reload. Now open this file, it will ask for credential, if you have a credential you can access it, otherwise you can't access this file. Our FTP is successfully installed with working condition, now it's ready for share all the datas.
Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, stay tuned to www.linuxhelp.com. If you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.